Ah, time for a brand new day. What? What? The, what's happened here? What? Ah. Ah. What has happened to my lovely home? It. It's all gone. It's all ruined. Uh. Okay. I. What is this purple stuff? That doesn't want to dig up at all. And just vanishes when it does. Where did I get a fishbowl from? What is going on? Okay. Oh. This is... Ah! What are you? You're a purple... Purple cow. And you're attacking me. Okay. Something has gone seriously wrong here. Um. And it looks like the local wildlife is getting hostile. Okay. We're pulling out. Um. I'm going to grab anything that I think is of value. I've got a bed on me. Yeah, we'll definitely take this stuff. All my machines are gone. Why have all my machines vanished? This is... Oh. And my quarry was just up and running as well. Uh, glowstone. Some buckets. Golden apple. More redstone. So I'm just going to grab anything that I think may be of use. See, even the sheep are hostile. I've got to find room for that obsidian. I love my lovely home. I have no clue what's happened here or why. I mean, look at it. It's just this purple stuff. It's like the land is tainted. Let's go see if the people at the castle know what's going on. I wouldn't stay around here, Fox. You'll turn purple and then just start trying to kill me. <sighs> Things were going so well. To you too. Oh, look, an ostrich. <laughs> the castles. <laughs> Even the castles tumbled down. How long was I asleep? Uh, I mean, the castles being ruined. Hello. Anyone here? Anyone here in the castle? Nope. No one about. Some food. I'll just take the bread. Hello? Anyone? Hello? Huh. What's this? A book called Overworld. I suppose I should read this. Maybe there's some form of hint as to what all that purple stuff has been about. Hmm. Ooh. Oh. That's... Where am I? I touched a panel in the book, and now I'm here. Okay, I'll just use the book to, um... The book isn't here. Okay. Where, where am I? I'm... I'm somewhere else entirely. 
Okay, that was a very strange book. Um, I think I remember some of the symbols from it. Well, I suppose I didn't really have anything back there left to go back to, did I? I'll just have to... I'll just have to make a fresh start of it here, I suppose. Okay, well... Let's have a look around and see what we've got, shall we? Why are you on fire? Why are these yellow plants on fire? Cinder pearl pod. Okay. Um, I'll come back for you guys. Well, another world to explore. Looks like it's midday. I've got a little bit of time. Ooh, oil. Okay, well, if I'm going to be going industrial, then that's going to come in handy, isn't it? Okay, desert. A desert's a reasonable place to build my home. You know, you don't get much animals and stuff running around in a desert, but... That looks like a rubber tree. I heard a hiss. Um, oh, God, look at that snake. Uh, the jungle will give me plenty of trees. Oops, oops. Looking around. Oh, dear. Is that snake going to be hostile? Wow. This new world is interesting. I'm going to leave the snake alone for now. <sighs> Got some cactus. Oh, I'm full. Hmm, yes, because I've got all, this, all the supplies and all the important stuff that I rescued from the last world. Okay, there's some water there. More oil! Oh, this is good. This is good. This is very, very good. So I, I think I just need to decide where I'm going to build my new home. Stroke factory. We have reeds, we have oil, we have water. We just need to find if there's anything else interesting around. I think location needs to be carefully chosen. I don't want to be too close to all the trees, because that will create shade during the day. And that will just lead to trouble. Monsters and stuff appearing. Um, I will temporarily put the bread down, just while I find out what this is. Basalt cobblestone. Interesting. That might mean there's a volcano nearby. Oh, a sapling. Again, I can't pick anything up. There's a lot of snakes around here. I thought I saw lava. This is why I'm heading over here. A nice surface source of lava will be useful. How's the sun doing? We're okay. Yep. Okay. That looked hostile. <laughs> well, it's against my instincts to actually build on this thing. Although it might be a useful source of building materials. I think by those oil gushers is going to be a good place to be, isn't it? I mean, a couple of oil wells. That'll be very useful. Right, where were they? Oops. <laughs> oh, well, my feet were a bit hot from that lava. Okay, where's the oil gone? Okay, there was one there. And one there. Hmm. I could just dig dig down until I find the um Well, we 
could just go in between the two. How far down does the sand go? To there. Yeah, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig this out down at the um sandstone layer. And then that will sort of um form a basement. And then I'll build up and we'll make ourselves a little um a little home. How much wood do I have? Okay, I think the first thing I need to do is make a chest. So let's get some wood. Let's get some wood. Um, just for the moment. Put the workbench down. Let us make us a chest. Start putting some of our stuff nice and safe. There we go. Okay. Um, the sun's starting to go down, so let's put a basic perimeter of torches, and maybe we'll make somewhere really just a little tiny enclosed space that I can sleep in, where I might just bridge over the top. Ooh, a lot of snakes. Ooh, I wonder if they're poisonous. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> there we go. Well, this is pretty good. We've got plenty of wood on our doorstep. Uh, plenty of sand for glass. Oil, once we progress far enough to be able to use the stuff. Um, all that's really needed is a supply of rubber. Right, well, I'll see you once I finish building my house, or at least the basic structure of the house. And then we'll start trying to get up and running again as quickly as possible. Don't worry, I won't make you watch everything, because you've seen me do all the basic stuff. Ooh, look on my mini-map. I think that's a third bit of, um... Okay. Yeah, that snake got a bit too close. Alright, well, see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, well, I finished building myself a little basic house to get us started. Um, I think I may have gotten a little bit carried away. <laughs> I was just enjoying designing and building it so much. <laughs> Well, um, I'll show you round quickly um, before we go today. I'm not sure how long this has been. This has been more of an intro to the fact that I've had to start a new a new map because uh, because essentially Technic Pack got updated and it was completely incompatible. So as you can see, we're right by one of the oil wells there, so that'll be useful later. Um, I'm using fence gates rather than... Sorry, I got confused. Yeah, um, I found this ancient weapon. I killed a slime ball and this ancient weapon fell out. No idea whether or not I can actually use it as a weapon, how, whether it has any value other than as a research thing. Anyway, um, I'm using f fence gates rather than doors because zombies can't break those down. At least not yet. So, I've got a nice two-story two building. I've cleared a radius, well, I'm in the process of clearing a radius of 10 squares all the way around it. And we've got a too high basalt wall with fence posts at, um, here. Uh, now, I'm pretty certain that ogres cannot destroy basalt, so that should keep us safe from them. We have another oil gusher right here, right by the house. So once I get up to wanting myself some combustion engines, I can pipe that stuff straight in. Um, I've made myself a little greenhouse. 
Um, I had to do this because I was running out of food while I was building the place. So far, I've done nothing with the Technic mod. This has just been completely legitimate <laughs> Minecrafting. So we have here, which is going to be our main machine floor. You can see it leads into the greenhouse there. Um, underground, we have what's going to be our storage. I'll probably move the bed later. So this is essentially going to be where all the storage chests are. And if necessary, I will expand the place. And up here, I think, is where the bedroom's going to be. And it's also going to be where we have um, equivalent exchange and thaumaturgy and the more magical side of things. And up there we've got a nice roof which is which I can stick all my solar panels on and stuff like that. So, um, I do have some rubber saplings, but I've not planted them yet. I'll probably plant them out there somewhere. Probably where there's already grass, so... Um, might plant all the rubber saplings here. But that's it for now, I think. Um, I've got me... I'm well established. So, what I'm going to do is probably do it off camera, is I'll start a mine, digging underground, trying to get all the basic resources I need to get back to where I was before. So, I may or may not record. It's possible the next thing you'll see is me sort of with a quarry ready to go, an equivalent exchange, um, with a transmutation tablet all up and ready. So, I've quite enjoyed building this, designing it, making it look new. Um, that's, that's always the good thing about a new world. That looks better. And let's do the same here as well. These little niggling details, that's what bothers you and keeps you awake at night. Let's put that dirt back. Yep, that looks okay. <laughs> well, let's uh, relocate the bed. And I'll see you next time, once we're caught up to where we were. And then we can carry on exploring this mod. Um, here, perhaps. I might wall off a little bit, make like a little private bedroom. I can reset my spawn, yes. There we go. <laughs> so, bye-bye.